If you're wondering what's going on in the Spokane real estate market, this video is for you. So it is officially the fourth quarter of 2021. Can you believe it? I have spent the morning going through lots of different stats and graphs to analyze where we are at in the current market in Spokane. So all of the data that I'm gonna be sharing with you is the Spokane County uh, residential market. So residential will include condos, single family, and manufactured home on land. So um, all these stats are gonna be based around that criteria in Spokane County. Um, so I'm gonna be glancing over here on my screen because this is where all my numbers are. So I'm gonna go through uh, current inventory available, average days on market, month supply of inventory, average sales price, and number of units available. So here we go. Current inventory. Uh, the amount of homes that you could see today, if you were a buyer and you wanted to go out and see all of the active inventory in Spokane, there is 828 listings available for you to see. Um, under 500,000, there is 491 units available to see. Uh, the average days on market for September was 13. Um, so if you compare that to like July and August and even prior to that, we are seeing an increase in days on market. Um, July was like 10, August was 11, and then you go back to you know June, July, it was more like six or seven days on market. So um, September was 13, so we are seeing a little bit of an increase in days on market. Um, and days on market for the price point under 500,000 is 11 days. And for the price point above 500,000 is 20 days. So definitely when you get above 500,000, you do see an increase in the days on market to about 20. Um, month supply of inventory. So what that means is the current pace that the market is selling at. So active homes that come on the market, they go under contract and they're sold. So how many months of inventory do we actually have? And right now it's just below one month. Um, so that's 0.9. So if we continue to sell at this, we have about a 30 day supply of homes at a time. Um, the average sales price, which of course everybody wants to know, is 433,000 for September. Now that is actually a decrease from August. So that means closed volume and closed sales was, uh, in August was 441. So we've decreased about 2% to 433,000. However, September of 2020 versus September 2021 was a 25% increase. So we are still seeing a significant increase, but that um, August timeline of closing, you know, before school starts, um, I think that has is due to, um, that's what that uh, little bit of decrease is due to. Um, number of units sold. So oftentimes in the market right now, you hear there's no inventory, there's no inventory. Um, that's actually not true. This uh, year to date, we have sold 6,948 homes, residential homes in Spokane. So almost 7,000 homes. Last year, we had about 6,800. So we have sold like 140 more homes this year than last year. So when people are saying there is no inventory, it just means that the demand is higher. We have more buyers in the market. Um, so that's what that number will reflect. Um, that is all I have for you today. Um, if you have any questions about the real estate market, please, um, I am a data nerd. I love the data. I love to dive into it. So I'm, I'd be happy to dive into any sort of stats that you want to hear about, whether it's the condo market, um, land, anything. Um, my next video is going to be about where the buyers are coming from and why they're coming to Spokane. And then the video after that is going to be about the affordability index of the Spokane region. So um, I'm going to be diving into those two topics next. So if you're a buyer in the Spokane market, now could be your time. And if you're seller, if you're wondering, should I list now or wait, I'd be happy to consult you about your individual situation and help you out.